The Miracle on Ice, The USA vs. the USSR by Jamie Hafner. It's February 22, 1980, and you're standing among a crowd of people in a small hockey arena in Cold Lake Placid, New York. The Olympic hockey game is about to start, but you already know that there's only a slim chance for the USA hockey team to win as they are going up against the USSR. You know that the US is good. They tied Sweden in the opening game. They also beat Czechoslovakia, Norway, Romania, and even West Germany. But could they beat the powerhouse giants of hockey? Before you know it, the game begins. The crowd is chanting and cheering on the US. But is there really any hope? Just a little over a week ago, the USSR creamed the USA at Madison Square Garden, 10 to three. It could happen again. Of course, the USSR already scored the first goal of the game, but then a USA player, Dave Christian, hit the puck towards the goal. It went past the Soviets' prime goalie and became the first goal for the US, tying the game at 1-1. One one. The game continued on, the Soviets trying to take the lead again before the end of the first period. The two teams battled on the ice until yet another goal was made. Mark Johnson and two of the USA defense players went driving hard to the Soviets' goal with only a few seconds left. Johnson took a chance and went for the goal, successfully putting the US ahead with only one second to spare. Surprisingly, the Soviets' coach pulled their top goalie after the period and replaced him with the backup, which was definitely not as good as the other one. The second period began with a shocking leader, but the Soviets would take back the lead with two goals made by the USSR, ending the period with an uneven score of 3-2. to two. It was the third and final period. With the US losing, everyone was doubting a win. The period was like all the others at first. Now the crowd was becoming nervous. What was going to happen next? Well, both teams were playing hard, trying to get a win for not just their team, but for their country. Just a little over a minute later, Irorenzo made a shot from 25 feet out at the goal again, making the U.S. fans go crazy. Jim Craig kept blocking every single last one of the Soviet shots until the final countdown began, leading up to the blowing of the horn. Do you believe in miracles? Yes! The U.S. have won. The team poured out onto the ice. Their family came after. You and the many other fans are shocked and overjoyed, but not just because the U.S. won against the odds. This meant so much more. The U.S. had battled against the USSR in the horrible Cold War. The U.S. people saw the USSR as a bad, evil country. This showed us that we were above them for once. It made us feel like we were not just another little country. We were a country that had freedom, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The happiness of a newborn look on the USSR. The USA 1980 Olympic hockey team went on the win against Finland in the gold medal game. If they hadn't won, the Soviets could have had the gold medal. The emotionless giants of amateur hockey, the Soviets, were intense. They trained year-round together. They were the team to beat. No one knew what exactly the Soviets did in order to make their hockey team and every other athlete of the USSR so good. Was it floor packing, steroids, or even performance enhancing drugs? Well, whatever happened, all we know is that the USA won and our world will never quite be the same.